Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm coming on today to share this little cutie here. Um, I had done um, a larger version of this, kind of the same version, um, with the same fabric on the cover and the same image on the front, but it was, I think, uh, I don't know, eight and a half by five and a half maybe. But of course, you know me, I always like to try something smaller too. So I shrunk down the pages and, <clears throat> excuse me, I actually don't know what size this is. It is four, four by six and a quarter. So much smaller than the original one. Um, I also did, I ended up putting like little, these, they look kind of like snowflakes to me. So I thought that would kind of go well with the theme, even though they are flowers, but we'll just pretend they're snowflakes. And then I also added this little velvet bow at the bottom. The other one didn't have that. Um, but, and the pages inside also too, there's, some, there's, there's differences. You'll see when I go in. But the basic makeup of the cover is pretty much, um, it's pretty similar with a, you know, with a few changes, but even on the inside, I did the same um, inside cover here, but all the pages, because there's three pages in the kit, um, and they're actually separate kits from Antique Papery, and I think it's called Holiday Homestead, but when you, there's three different kits, but in each kit, there's one page, so you have a page, and then you have ephemera. Um, and so there's three printed pages. Also, you have background page and then random ephemera. So I printed out some to put in here. Um, so let's get right in. So here we just have a little flip up here and I've taken one of the little inch circles. Am I far, too far away? Hold on. It's kind of small. If I just leave it right there. Okay. So um, it was one of the little inch punch outs and I just used that to go on the corner tuck. And then in this, I cut one of my cyberi, sideways library cards in half, rounded the corners and then turned them into little journaling cards. Um, I also shrunk down the tags that come with one of the sets of pages. And then, of course, I took the actual pages and I shrunk them down to make journaling cards. So that's what you'll see throughout the, um, throughout the journal. Um, but in this journal, if you've been watching my channel, last weekend I went to an estate sale and I got a whole bunch of just random vintage office type papers. So a lot of the papers are in here because some of the pages that I got or papers that I got were smaller sized. So this is one of the pages here. Um, this here is, I think it's typewriting paper, but there's a watermark in it. So it could be resume paper. Here we have the vintage music paper. And I did also um, reinforce it with some washi tape. I try to make the washi tape not so noticeable. Um, I try to kind of like, you know, colors that might blend in, but because this is so old, I think it was from 1926. Um, it, it was really brittle when I folded it in half. So I put washi on it just to, just to keep it safe. So then here we have, um, here's one of the little squares from the kit. And then I use that to make a pocket. And then of course, two little pieces of ephemera there. And that's a little half page there. Here is another piece of that vintage office paper. This is grid paper and it's so yellowed. I love it. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but it's really yellowed. So it makes it really nice. It's like coffee dyed paper. Here's another piece of the office paper. And then I just did another corner tuck, the one that flips down there with another little punch there. And in here, two journaling cards. And we have another little half sheet there. So then we have the middle here, just like the original one. This is what I used for the middle. And then there's another printed page. And then we go through all the same pages again. So here's another one of the um, squares that I cut out and of course turned it into a pocket and added some little bits of ephemera inside there. 
and then some more vintage music paper and again um, reinforced with washi tape so this one is pretty um, plain there's not so much embellishments but there are some tuck spots throughout just so you can tuck away some things um, but it's a perfect journal to actually like journal in <laughs> if that makes sense so there's plenty of spaces to write is what I'm trying to say um, and all the pages were aside from the coffee dyed papers and the printed papers are all vintage some of them look very vintagey some of them look pretty good for their age but they they all are vintage and then here's the back and then the back cover so this is my little 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 tiny cutie because i think the first one was called christmas cutie now this is the little christmas cutie so um, i will have it listed in my shop if you are interested and um, if you haven't yet please subscribe i try to put out some you know random videos hopefully um there's something for everybody out there um but you know i'd love to have you so as always thank you so much for watching Happy Thanksgiving tomorrow, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.